If you think becoming a football manager is tough, try doing it before you're old enough to rent a car. But that's exactly what Will Still did. From football manager to head coach at 24, and now the manager of Stad Rams, he's the young gun that's got everyone talking. But it's not just his age that's impressive, it's his journey. It's like he's living out his own underdog story, complete with a few twists, turns, and a lot of hard work. And if you want to hear all about it, hit that subscribe button. And let's dive in. This is the Football Historian. Will Still was born and raised in the Belgian town of brain la led to English parents. He attended a French language school and learned Dutch by playing for Flemish football club. After playing for various youth teams, he played for Mons reserve team and amateur club Tempo Overijst in the Belgian 4th Division. However, his path to management was not a traditional one. Still's love for football was nurtured in part by his obsession with the popular video game, Football Manager. I'd been obsessed with it growing up, Will said in an article for The Coach's Voice. Me and my brother would play it relentlessly. We weren't allowed a PlayStation, so we played Football Manager on the family computer. He spent countless hours on the game with his brother, building squads, organizing training, and making sure the team was headed in the right direction. In an interview with the coach's voice, Still said, there was nothing better than that, even if it was virtual. His obsession with the game led him to switch focus from playing to coaching at the age of 17. He moved to England to study to become a coach at Myerscough College in Preston, Lancashire. Although a career in the football manager game can be fulfilling, it does not guarantee a seamless transition to real-life management. For Will Still, his journey began in 2011 as an assistant to the U14 manager at Preston North End after completing an internship as part of his football studies. However, after returning to Belgium in 2014, he struggled to secure a job in senior football until he decided to take matters into his own hands. He went door to door, seeking opportunities to showcase his skills and experience. Despite numerous rejections, he persevered and finally ended his first professional role as a video analyst at Centruiden, where he had played in the club's youth academy. Still's keen match analysis skills proved to be his ticket to a promotion, as he successfully convinced manager Yannick Ferreira to appoint him as an assistant coach. Together, they led the team to a promotion to the Belgian 1st Division A in 2015. However, their success was short-lived at Centruid and when Ferreira moved to Standard Liege, and still followed suit. Their partnership at Standard Liege bar fruit in the firm of a Belgian Cup victory in the following season. Nonetheless, their success was brief, and both Ferreira and his assistants, including Still, were let go in September 2016. Despite the setback, Still's perseverance and hard work had put him on the map as a respected assistant coach with a bright future ahead of him. In April 2017, Still secured a new role at Lears, a second division team, as a video analyst and assistant manager to Frederick Vanderbeest. However, he received an unexpected offer from Standard Liege in June of the same year. He accepted the position but left just two days later when his new club failed to meet the agreed-upon contractual obligations. Still quickly returned to Lears, where he took on the role of caretaker manager after Vanderbeest was sacked. Despite being just 24 years old, he guided the team to a remarkable seven-game winning streak and picked up 21 points out of a possible 27. He was eventually appointed as the full-time manager, becoming the youngest in Belgian history. Under his leadership, the team finished third in the league after taking over when they were second bottom. However, Still's tenure as head coach was brief due to his lack of the European I-level coach degree, which is a requirement in the Belgian First Division B for managers to remain in charge for more than 60 days. Nonetheless, he remained with Lierse and assumed the role of assistant to David Colpert, who replaced him as the manager. 
reflecting on his brief stint as head coach, still acknowledged the impact that football manager had on his real-life career. In his own words, as quoted in the coach's voice, I got fixated on it as a kid, and playing the game probably ignited the fire in me that I have now as a coach on the touch line. And then here I was, doing it for real. However, more bad luck followed as Lears was declared bankrupt at the end of the 17-18 season. Still then moved to Beerskett as an assistant coach, working under Stan Reven, who was later replaced by Hernan Losada. Under Losada's guidance, Beerskett and Still were promoted to the Belgian First Division A. After Losada left in mid-January 2021, Still became the new manager of Beerskett. Despite leading the newly promoted side to within a point of the Europa League, Still was let go that summer. Still recalled the painful exit, saying, I went back in two weeks later and they told me they were going to appoint a new manager. I was asked to stay on as assistant, but I did not want to do that. I found the whole thing odd and difficult to deal with. After parting ways with Beerskit, Will Still became the assistant manager at Lid One Team Ramps under Oscar Garcia. However, he found himself in a difficult situation as his European Pro license was registered in Belgium and he had to shuttle back and forth between Belgium and Rams to attend courses, which took a toll on his time. Therefore, when he received offers from two Belgian clubs, he chose to return to Standard Liege. Nevertheless, at the end of the 21-22 season, Rams offered still a chance to return as an assistant manager. After Garcia was sacked on October 13, 2022, still took over as caretaker manager. Following an undefeated stretch of five games, he was appointed as the manager for the rest of the season, becoming the youngest manager in Europe's top five leagues at just 30 years of age. Stad Drams accumulated an undefeated run of 19 League One games since still initially took temporary charge in October, including two draws with Paris Saint-Germain. The Champagne side's unbeaten streak included a total of 17 consecutive unbeaten games, 9 wins, and 10 draws, all under Still's management. The streak was lost at home against Olympique Marseille in a 1-2 match on March 19th. Despite his meteoric rise to the top, even still can hardly believe his own success. He admits that if someone had told him that he would be managing a Ligue 1 club at 30, he would have dismissed the idea as ridiculous. Still wrote in The Guardian, the idea that, at 30, I'd be managing a team against Neymar, Kili and Mbappé, Sergio Ramos and Marco Verity, and in the opposition bench to Christophe Galtier, was equally mad. Rams under Still's leadership is currently defying expectations and sits in the ninth position of the table, just seven points shy of European qualification. The relegation battle is now a distant memory for the club, as they have accumulated 43 points in the league. Can Rams continue to surprise and upset the standings? For Still, it's a dream come true to be living his passion. And, Despite Will Still's meteoric rise to the top of French football, there is one big problem that threatens to hinder his progress. His lack of elite level coaching badges. The situation has left Still and his team, Ramps, in a coaching conundrum that costs 25,000 new rows for every game he takes charge of, due to Ligue 1 regulations. However, Ramps seems happy to keep paying the fines considering Still's impressive performance so far. He is currently studying for the qualification at the National Football Center in Belgium, which he visits once or twice a month. Still is relaxed about his future in management given the fact that he is contracted to Rams. However, he admits that his dream is to one day take charge of a Premier League or Championship club. We are excited to see how this season ends for Will and Rams. And that's the final whistle. If you enjoyed watching our video, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to our channel for more. Trust us, our videos are better than a perfectly executed free kick. So, get off the bench and join the winning team.
like and hit that subscribe button now. We'll see you next time.